Finally, a real tutorial. <laughs> hey! Hey guys, it's Kpop Steve here, and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to genuinely make reaction videos. Not like the last jokey one I did, which was how not to make reaction videos. A lot of you guys have asked me how you should start making reaction videos and how you should do it, but I'm here to help and here to give you a nice little tutorial. Yeah! I'm gonna go through different stages of the making reaction videos. So, at the side here, you can click any of them to skip to a certain time. If you're watching the video again, you want to remember a certain thing of how to do it, you can just click here at the side to get to it. Yeah, simple. Although I wish I could. I can't include everything about making videos in this video, so if there's anything I missed or any questions you want to ask, please post them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. Yeah. Okay, so let's begin. First off, can you make reaction videos? Mmm, are you ready to become a YouTuber? Mmm, are you ready to put yourself out there in the world wide web? It's very in intimidating, but if you're ready for it and you feel your opinion and your way of doing it couldn't mix up from the norm, then let's go, let's make some videos. And firstly, camera. Camera is extremely important because that's what's going to be filming your videos. You can either do it on a camcorder like I did, a very fancy camera like the one I have now, or even on your phone. I know a lot of reactors, I know my boy KP Deo, he records his reactions on his phone sometimes, and they come out really well. So depending on what you have and what you can film with, film with that. You want to make sure that you have a, like a setup, so like a tripod or something to balance it on so you get a right angle. Currently I use a tripod as you can see here, but I used to just use my Death Note Manga box set and balance my camera on top of it so I could get a good angle. So test what objects you have to get a good angle. The microphone is important as it'll be recording what you're saying. If you don't have a microphone, don't worry. Most cameras and phones are built in with a fairly decent microphone nowadays anyway, so you should be able to get away with it. But if you're trying to increase production quality, a better microphone will do better. Mine's not the best, but it, it works. Make sure there's room for your music videos. Whatever side you are, make sure there's room for it. I suggest putting it aside because the way I like doing it is so it's my eye level so people can look at my beautiful face and also see the music video at the same time. A lot of people, what they do, they forget and they just watch the video like this and they have to make it tiny here and people want to see the music video and your reaction. So make sure the music video is there and make sure you put it in because I've seen some reactions with no music video like who's going to watch that realistically. Switching cameras is good. When I got my new camera, I could notice the quality of it 100%. But what really helps out is this LED light. As you can see, if I turn it off, my camera becomes quite dark but this beautiful box right here I won't turn it on in front of you to blind you, but it makes my face much brighter, much easier to see as you can see like this. See as I turn it on, it makes it much easier to see and looks like a much more professional video. So they're really useful and they change the quality of video so much. Music video. Download the music video, download it, because when you watch it, there'll be no buffering. My internet sucks, as you guys know, because it takes me five hours to upload a video. Make sure you download it so when you're watching it, the video doesn't start to buffer. Because if it starts to buffer, I had it a couple of times, and it ruins the whole reaction video, because you have to cut in the video, you have to find out where to cut, and it all gets so confusing, like when ed when you're editing. And try and make sure you don't get any like disturbances while recording, to so say so your family member walking in and whatever. Just try and make sure you're ready to record and you're in the zone and nothing's going to interrupt you. And in regards to audio, I have my the music videos playing through my speakers, so then I, I can hear the music out loud and then you guys can as well. Another way to do it is to wear earphones and then when you're editing it, put the music in from the music video. I take it away from the music video because you can hear it from my microphone. But test which way is better for you. But make sure you test the audio before filming. Because sometimes the music video audio will be way too loud or way too quiet. And you don't want either because your audience will not be able to hear the music video or they won't be able to hear you. So make sure you do some test shots before filming your reaction video so you know how loud the music video is. Do your thing. Be yourself. Being yourself is the most important thing with reaction videos because it's your reaction. So be honest. Sometimes it's really hard to be honest. Like if you watch my old videos compared to now, people will be like, oh, you, you're, are you honest now? Or were you honest then? Like you change and you get much more comfortable in front of the camera. People know that. But you want to make sure you be honest. And like there's a lot of times where I want to say something really bad about a music video. So I would want to be honest and be like, oh, that sucks. But obviously people don't really like negativity, especially K-pop fans. So just try and phrase it in a nicer way so people can take it. But make sure you're being yourself. 
yourself, you know. However, although it's your reaction, it still needs to be entertaining. I've gotten a lot of comments in the past saying, oh, your, your reaction is just a commentary. Yeah, because this is how I react to it. I want to talk about it. I want to talk to you guys about it. If I sat in silence, then it'd be boring, you know? So I have to be entertaining. I have to be like, oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Ravi. Uh. Like, I, I do act like that, and I do generally freak out like that. But make sure you're being honest. Make sure it's entertaining as well, because geez louise, when I started, not that many people were doing reaction videos, but now everyone's doing reaction videos. So make sure it's like your own twist, make sure it's different, and making sure you're just being entertaining and yourself. It's hard, but with it comes with time, because if you watch my old videos now, please don't. I'm being honest, but I'm a bit quiet, a bit like closed, but then you eventually get more comfortable in front of the camera. So it's practice makes perfect, really. And also, remember to press record. Remember. I recorded a video the other day to you kiss his new music video and then like 10 seconds before the end of the video I was going oh yeah yeah I look at my camera and it says it's not recording and I didn't record any of the reactions so I just like turned my camera off and just cried so yeah make sure you press record editing is probably the longest part of the process and the longest part of this video so I'm going to make sure I go through it fairly quickly so I don't bore you guys so the step by steps transfer your files from your phone or camera to the computer but don't delete them from your phone or phone or your camera because in case you're they like, corrupt on your computer so make sure you keep them as a backup. As you're editing, many people ask me what software I use. I used to use Sony Vegas, but now I use Adobe Premiere Pro. Those um, programs you have to pay for, and I've got through various ways and through my university. So if you can get them, then get them. But of course, I did some lovely research for you guys on free software, and I found the best one for reaction videos is VSDC Free Video Editor. I'll put the link in the description below to download it. And this is the best one I found, which is free, because it does what everyone asks, how do you put another video in a video? Because it's not Windows Movie Maker, you can have separate tracks. So that means that you can have one video playing while another video plays. And you basically just shrink one of them so it fits on the screen at the same time rather than one of them, one of them covering the other. A lot of free software don't do that, but this one does. So I'm going to go through my process on my program, Premiere Pro. However, you can look up tutorials for VSDC and it's fairly similar. But if you're getting into editing, then yeah, it's quite difficult. But look up tutorials for it because they them because it's a fairly simple program but here's my process one put the music video in the in the video if it's not in the video then the video is boring as i said earlier you want to make sure that they have something else to see as well rather than just your face going Whoa. And make sure you time it as well. Like with me, I have my three, two, one, go, and I hit the space bar. And when I hear the space bar, I know that's where I'm gonna put the music video in my video. Two, I watch and cut the whole video. I watch the whole video, and where there's um, oh, where there's blank spaces or boring things, I say I cut them out. Say what I do. I'm watching something, and I get to a bit which is boring. I put like. I cut that, I cut around that bit and carry on going. And then when I go back, I can see that all the bits in, bet in between the good bits, I can delete. So I just go through and delete them like quickly. So my video gets a lot shorter and it's a lot more entertaining because there's no bits of me just going, um, ah. Uh. Once you've done that, and there's a few different um, ways to keep the video, uh, to make the video a bit different, a bit more entertaining. Adding background music really helps. While I'm talking now, there's probably gonna be background music. Why? Because it keeps the audience attentive and keeps them busy, gives their mind busy. Because if they just listen to me and silence like now if you can just listen to my voice although my voice is very sexy you're gonna get bored because there's no background music so that's all that always helps so make sure you turn it down before you render the video because sometimes it'll just be like <laughs> so yeah intro and outro like this is more youtuber general stuff but if you want an intro and an outro to make you a bit different for people to remember you by the, your different songs or your animations that might be useful there's loads of free intros and outros on youtube i made my own little outro because it's quite simple two videos and like color changing but i found my intro on youtube now rendering, render it in a, in a video type that YouTube can take. On VSDC, just go on to web and then to MP4. And I, I render most of my stuff as MP4 because YouTube likes that um, file type. And render it as 720 or 1080p. I render my stuff at 720 because my internet sucks, so uploading videos takes ages. But 1080p is nice because it's nice and full HD, so it's your, it's your decision. In the video as well, you might want to talk a bit before about how you know the band and after talk about how you think of the music video. It's really up to you. Everyone does their reaction videos in a different way. You see that I talk about the music video for a while. Some people just don't and just have the reaction, but everyone has their own style. Think about what you want to talk about and if you want to talk about it and your relation to it. But there's one tip. Try not to make really long outros. If you watch my old videos or even my, some of my videos now, I do really long outros where I'm like, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. What do you think? What do I think? Blah, 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 blah. 
blah, 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 blah. Like, they're long, and most most of the time, people are going to cut, like, turn off the video because they know it's the outro. So try and make your outro short. But yeah, uploading. Upload your video. It might, uh, depend on your internet, it might take 10 seconds or 5 hours if you live where I live. But it gives you time to add a suitable title. Suitable titles are important. You don't want your title to be too long so people can't read it, but you want it to be recognizable so people can search it. So you might want the Korean name in the music video or the English name. It depends who you're marketing to because a lot of my viewers are in South Korea, so I tend to include the Korean name in the title, but in the thumbnail it says the English stuff, so it appeals to two different groups of people. In the description, you want to do whatever you want. Like, uh, I put in mine, I put a little bit about the music video, I put thanks for watching guys, I put links to my social media, and I put um, credit to, say if I use background music, outro music, intros, I put credit to those people there. So it really depends what you're going to put in your video and what you want the audience to read, because the first three lines are very important because most people are are going to read them, so think about that. Tags are important so people can find your videos. Like, there's a lot of ways to do it, but I tend to just put like a name of the song, band, and reaction and stuff, and, and put a few of them in there. You don't want to do too many. And thumbnail. Thumbnail is probably the most important part because that's what people are going to see when looking through YouTube. They're going to see millions of reaction videos because a lot of people are doing them now, and they want to see that yours is a bit vibrant. You want to make it simple, like so people can read it. Sometimes people have like the full title on their thumbnail for their reaction videos. You can't read it as like. Like from like that far away unless you have like really good eyes. You want to make sure it's easy to read like mine I try and make it easy to read by having outlines of the text So then it's just not one color So it's easy to read and just having the na name of the song and the name of the band like just makes it simple People know it's a reaction video. I don't have to put reaction in the thumbnail Also make sure you're not tricking people with the thumbnail a lot of reaction thumbnails I used to see people take pictures of them going Ah with like the music video there and you watch the music video and they're just chilling like yeah it's all right i'm like why are you like faking that you're gonna go crazy but then when you watch the video it's not obviously they're doing it for views but i tend to just use genuine screenshots from my videos because i don't want to trick you guys i want you to see a reaction video that you want to see you know and lastly sharing sharing is very important you want to share it in all different social media and get your videos out there you can't just expect millions of people to just come and watch it if you just upload it you need to share it that's how people get popular on YouTube by sharing, collaborating, just getting it out there. A lot of my friends have talked to me who do YouTube videos and they're like, oh Stevie, oh how do you get big on YouTube? I'm like, share your videos. They're like, yeah, but I'm embarrassed. I'm like, okay, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get anywhere unless you share your videos. Like, what's the point of uploading the video if you're embarrassed, you know? I'm having a bit of a rant right now. Share your videos, that's really important. You need to get them out there, you know? I, I shared mine at first with my friends and people who I knew were into K-pop and eventually I've grown from there, so yeah. And that's it, done. That's easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be easy editing this video. <laughs> it takes time and dedication like anything, but consistency is key with YouTube. You don't want to, like, the amount of my old videos where I'm like, hi, guys, I'm back again, yeah. Like, that's so annoying. Like, no one wants to see that. So just try and be consistent if you can. It's hard, and sometimes life gets in the way. But I know you watching who wants to make reaction videos, you can do it, 100%, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Was this useful? Comment down below if it was. And if you have any questions of stuff I missed out, Please post them in the comments below and I'll really try and get to answer them. I'm not that knowledgeable, but I know this video won't be too long because otherwise no one will watch it. If there's stuff I missed out, please ask that, ask in the comments below and I'll get to it. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll talk to you later. Peace. Damn, I didn't realize how hard reaction videos are. Nah, no, all right. Don't worry about it. <laughs>